There you are again. I never thought the two of us would meet again. I feel like I spent three weeks lying under a load of rocks. Well, so you did. Only the magic within your armor kept you alive. I had feared I might not be able to rescue you from the debris of the temple, but enough of that. You're here now. There's a new threat that we have to deal with. You must become their ally. That's the only way to stop Belyar. At least we have enough time now. I did it. The sleeper has been banned. You vanquished him so much is true. But it's not within our power to stop the war that ensues now. With his final furious scream, the sleeper has set into movement the armies of darkness. It was an order to all evil creatures, a word of power that they were all bound to obey. His last order was, come, and they came, all of them, even the dragons. Dragons? They are creatures of an ancient power. I can sense their presence, even here. And they have gathered an entire army of lowly servant creatures around them. Where's this army now? The army is camped not far from here, in the Valley of Mines near Corinus, and they're getting ready to attack. We do not have much time left. What can we do? This time we cannot handle it by ourselves. Only the power of Innos will help us against these dragons. A group of paladins is stationed in the city of Corinus, not far from here. They possess a powerful artifact which could help us to defeat the dragons. They call it the Eye of Innos. You need to get hold of this artifact. Tell the paladins about the threat. You must convince their leader to support us. And once you have talked to him, you need to find the artifact of Belyar. It is the counterpiece to the Eye of Enos. It must not fall into the hands of evil. What exactly is the Eye of Enos? It's an amulet. Legend has it that Enos himself was poured part of his power into this amulet. It will restore some of your lost strength and help us defeat the dragons. It also has some other hidden powers. I shall tell you more about that once the amulet is yours. Why would the Paladins give me the Eye of Innos? Because you are the one who is destined to wear it. How can you claim to know that? There are a number of reasons. The most important being, you have defeated the Sleeper. If you weren't a favorite of the gods, you'd be dead by now. Let's assume you're right and I'm destined to bear the Eye of Innos. How would the Paladins know that's true? The Eye itself chooses the one who may wear it. Once you get hold of it and put it on, the Paladins cannot doubt your words any longer. How can I get to the city? Just follow the path from here through the mountains. The city is large. You cannot miss it, but watch out. The path to town is not without dangers, and you aren't nearly as strong as you once were. I need weapons. I can only give you whatever little I have here. Look around in my tower. Anything that looks useful to you, you can have. I'll be on my way as fast as I can. Good. And one more thing. Don't tell anyone that you've talked to me. Above all, don't tell any magician. Since I have gone into exile, the Circle of Fire has taken me for dead. And that's a good thing. Hey, you! Why is the Circle of Fire not supposed to know about you? I used to be a high member of the Circle. Even then I suspected that demon magic might be the key to the magic barrier. But I could never have convinced the other members of the Circle to follow this path. So I left the Circle in order to study the Black Arts. That is a crime for which the Fire Magicians, the Ordained of Enos, the ever good and virtuous, will accept no excuse. They are certain that I'm still alive, but they have no idea where to find me, and that's a good thing, too. Can you tell me anything about this stone tablet? First, I suspected it might be a magical artifact, but I finally concluded that it is not of any great significance. I have not been able to decode the meaning of this tablet entirely, but it seems to concern the history of a very old culture. If you want the tablet, it's yours. I have no use for it. Where exactly are we? As I already said, near the city of Corinus. 
I have rebuilt my tower here. But it's only been a few days since we last saw each other in the Valley of Mines. The servants I summoned to build my tower have done a thorough job. Well, you can say that again. Where can I find better equipment? The closest place where you can get better weapons and armor is the city of Corinus. But down in the valley, you can find some healing herbs that will help you if you get injured in a fight. See the lake right in front of my tower. A secret passage leads to the valley from there.